it's just like chopping consequences of what that's why the guys just doing, doing moving going through back doors behind everybody back we spin like this it's happened for the for 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 person mm-hmm. here yeah. i'm a bro we we shall go meeting this week so no i go i go explain everybody has me see us who needs strategy we are we have one of the strongest ships in the house you know me as well i'm the strongest ship in this house hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so so far so good we see that this big brother season nine right um the no lose god season is beginning to come with its own fair share of drama now it might not it might have been like a very um violent way where people are facing off and all of that but you can literally see that people are beginning to strategize on how to take some peers out either because of one of the peers or because of two of the peers right now remember that on sunday we saw that Tammy was evicted, right? And um, Toyo C was talking about the fact that she feels like they were evicted because of Dami Lala, okay? And in a recent interview with um, Ibuka, we literally had Toyo C telling, um, you know, Dami Lala that she wouldn't want them to stay together at the moment. She probably just wants to have to give, uh, give Dami Lala space, all right? Now, there's something brewing between Mayo Froge and Toby Forge. Now, these two people are a pair, and they're strategizing and looking at how to take out Surge because of a girl called Nelly. All right. Now, I'm going to explain this dynamic to you because um, from the onset, we see that it, it was um, Mayo Froch and, and, you know, Nelly that it looks like both of them were going to be an item. All right. Um, even Ruthie had to talk about that to, to Mayo Froch. And think she told him that, you know what, I know you like Nelly, right? You're not going to make me a second bet. Right? You're not going to keep me on the side. I'm not going to be a side chick here. If you're not going to make me the main chick or whatever, don't bother coming to me. All right? I know that you like Nelly and I see it in your face and all of that stuff. Now, it's looking as though Toby Forge and Mayo Frosh are beginning to plan that, you know what? What Suge is doing is very bad. That like he's a sneaky guy. That this guy, he doesn't even try to talk to the girls in an open space. Now, what, they, what he does is he just goes to them quietly, speaks with them, and before you see Jack Robinson, you already seen the girl gravitating towards them. How did he, how did they know this? He said he's never seen Switch speak to Nelly before, right? He's never seen Switch talk to Nelly in the house. And boom, he just found out that Nelly and Switch were under the sheets one particular day like that, right? And he's shocked at how on earth did Nelly get under the sheet with Surge? So I think that, you know, Mayor Frosch is looking at the fact that there should be like a bro code thing here. If you see that this guy is talking to this girl, it's a different thing if you already have a girl. If you already have a girl, uh, whatever it is, that's fine. But if you see that this person is talking to this girl, you know, if you see that I'm talking to this girl, I don't think you should be talking to this girl. If I'm talking to this girl and I already have a girl and I'm trying to talk to another girl, it's a different um, you know, scenario entirely. But you know that me and this Nelly girl, we they talk. We're talking. And then you go and it's just suddenly I see this girl under your shit. It means that you don't even you don't you respect the bro code. Now what really got these two people angry is the fact that now there's a Ruthie. Ruthie is the, the pair of DJ Flow. Ruthie likes Mayo Frosh and she's told him over time that I like you. There's a syringe I'm attracted to and it's sitting right in front of me and Mayo Frosh is right in front of her. Now, he's saying that he saw that Suj went, quietly went to Ruthie was in the kitchen and he went quietly stylishly to her and says, you know what, I want to talk to you. I want to see you later. Can we have a conversation? And he's like, how the hell is this guy being sneaky like this? Now that you've spoken to Nelly, Nelly's not vibing with him anymore in some type of way. And now you're now moving towards Ruthie that he's probably, you know, still looking at the fact that, okay, since I can't get Nelly, if I get with you, it's not a problem. But here you are trying to move again to Ruthie. He's, he's, bearing, he's, 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 he's like, he's hiding it in swag. He's hiding it in, in, in moving soft. In talk- so now, Toby Forge and, and Mayo Froge have decided that, you know, they have um, what you call it, they're the custodians, right? And they've already chosen one of those scroll boxes to, you know, open on Sunday during the, um, the eviction, the Sunday live eviction show. So what they're seeing now is this. If they have the power, if they open that scroll and they find out that they have to save and replace, that they will save whoever they're saving and they will replace, you know, the, the people with search. So that the guys can go home. Like they don't like what Suji is doing. That's sorry to Tofa. Tofa is Suji's partner, but that Tofa is a good guy. All right. And that you know, the way he works right now is they don't care. Yes, because um they don't like what Suji is doing. So 
if they want to check Suja out, yes, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna you know hit Tofa too, but they wouldn't mind. He's a great guy, but sorry, man. If on Sunday they can save and replace, guess what? They are going to save um some people and replace them with so that those guys can go home this is tell you how strategic and i i think that this is a game right for whatever reason you can decide to talk to anybody you can decide to um take out anybody for whatever reason it's a game it has to be in your favor i totally understand that a lot of people say that this is about um, a girl or whatever but that's how they see it. they feel like this is a game and this guy's been sneaking on them i also think that people are not thinking strategically to see that okay um i need to take out so you don't want to take out the weakest strong contender and leave the strongest contender in the house at the moment i do not see suj and tofa as a strong contender for toby forge and mayo fresh but of course they that they are deciding on what they want to do if this happens they are the holders they're the custodian holders and they will decide what they want to do on sunday now moving on to my next gist we see the fact that suj now also moved to victoria and that's not, that's that's also becoming funny right now. So here's Suj talking to Victoria. Apparently, he thinks I think he likes Victoria because Victoria is looking at the fact that this guy is just disturbing me. So here he's having a conversation with Victoria and he's asking Victoria, "Does it look like I'm disturbing you? You know, uh, are you talking to people in the house?" And she answered, "It was like it looks like I'm disturbing you." Victoria was just tired with the whole whatever he was saying, and she literally just stood up. In a, in a more respectful manner, you know, she probably didn't want to make him feel embarrassed, but she just stood up from that place and moved. Thanks, Bob. Moving on to my next gist. Wani and Handy say that their strategy is working in the house. Now, they explained what their strategy is. Relationship. Um, the fact that one it was like the fact that herself and Sean are in a relationship in the house, and that's the strongest relationship in the house, and it's working for them. That she loves to, you know, when it comes to kitchen time, they can cook. Um, when it comes to task, they're there. That their strategy is working in the house, and that they feel like they are the strongest. Um, you know, herself and Sean and uh, her twin sister, and they are the strongest in the house, based off of the fact that they are they can cook. Um, that she has a relationship with Sean in the house and that, you know, they are very genuine. And it was like, you know, what she loves the fact that the relationship that um, Wani and, and Sean have is like, you know, it, it's a very genuine one. And, the, you know, that she loves it, that nobody's playing each other here, that even if it was not in the house, that she likes that, you know, Sean is like a very genuine person and all of that. And that, you know, they feel like they're really strong in the house. They're probably going to, they're going to have like, you know, stay on the show for a long time. Like you, you find somebody that you don't really, really connect with. That's not even just because you're trying mm -hmm. to like play game. Because like, and, mm -hmm. and it's support this team. Mm -hmm. We help both our games. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think it is right that Toby Forge and Mayo Forge are planning to evict or nominate or put up Suj and Tofa just because Suj is moving sneakily, if that's the word, towards Nelly, towards Ruthie, and now towards Victoria? What do you think in the comment section? Of course, what do you think about the fact that Wani and Handy feels like, feel like they are the strongest in the house? You know what I'm saying? So please go to the comment section and let me know what you think. And that's it on this video. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guys, so you get notified whenever I post a video. We're on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok and follow me at the family down there. And of course, if you have not subscribed to DSTV and GoTV, please do that. Of course, if you cannot um get access to the quarter you can of, of course get access to showmax and stream for as low as a thousand two hundred naira and you watch the show 24 7 until day 71 and until next time i'm coming again very soon it's bye for now